because God loves you and God wants to save your soul. God wants to write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And God wants to take you off the highway to hell. You're on the highway to hell. Many of you are rock and rollers on the way to hell. And God is reaching out to you tonight to tell you, get on the road. Get on the road that leads to repentance. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. God cares for you. Hallelujah. Give me a... Okay, let me tell you my story. I used to love Motley Crue. I used to love Motley Crue. I used to love Helter Skelter, 10 Seconds to Love, smoking in the boys' room. And it took me straight out of the presence of God, straight into the demonic world, through the devil's worship. The devil used to be the praise and worship leader in heaven. And because of his pride, he wanted to be like God. And God said, not today. Not today, devil. Get out. The Bible says that God resists the proud. But God gives grace to the humble. Ma'am, humble yourself in the sight of God. I humbled myself in God's sight. But I was a Motley Crew fan for years. I even got a tattoo of Motley Crew. I did. I got a tattoo of Motley Crew. Why? Because they were my apostles. Oh yeah, Molly Crew was my apostles. They were my leaders. They were my guides. And the Bible says, the blind leading the blind, you will surely fall into a ditch. The Catholic Church is blind. Just as blind as rock and roll is blind. You need light. And Jesus is the light of the world. And in Him is no darkness. But there's a lot of churches in Poland that are dark. They don't have the light on because they worship Mary more than Jesus. Well, no wonder you're headed to hell. Because Mary is not the Redeemer. Only Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath of God to come. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send Yeshua into the world to condemn you, but to save you. His blood is what makes you clean. His blood brings you deliverance. And Molly Crew was the very band that the devil used to entice me away from the Lord, from the teachings that I was raised in church. And at 23 years old, I was a crack cocaine addict. I was an alcoholic. I was in a pornography. I was wicked. I kicked my own mother that adopted me at 17 years old. I hurt my mother. Now I love my mother. The Bible says honor your father and mother. I honor my father and mother. Why? Because of the change Jesus Christ brought me. 
Jesus will change your heart. Jesus will uh, save your soul. Jesus will redeem you. Jesus will rescue you. Do you see this trash can? We are full of trash and dead men's bones. And only Jesus can reach down into your pit and pull you out and rescue you. You cannot save yourself. You will never be good enough. Your church cannot save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you and erase your sins and make you righteous. You cannot make yourself righteous. Jesus said no one is good. No, not one. And Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried. God raised him from the dead three days later. He was seen by over 500 people according to the scriptures. What must I do to be saved? Repent before God. Repent before God. Stop going to the Catholic priest saying, Father, forgive me. They cannot forgive you. They have no power to forgive sins. That's blasphemy. The only one that can forgive sins is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Only the blood of Jesus can wash away your sins. Warsaw Paulin, wake up. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Your redemption draws nigh to you. Only Jesus saves from hellfire. Only Jesus saves from damnation. Oh, there is a lake of fire. There is a way that seems right unto man, but in the end it leads to death. Ah! Wake up! Wake up! There's only one way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through Him. I'm talking about the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. You can say Hail Mary all day long, and hell laughs at you. Ha, 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 ha. Hell laughs at you as you pray to Mary. The Bible doesn't tell you to pray to Mary. A dead church would tell you to pray to Mary. Oh, how they want your money. They sell forgiveness of sins to build the Vatican. Oh, yeah. They, they sold. Uh, give a few dollars and get people out of purgatory. Purgatory is not in the Bible, people. That is a doctrine of the devil. Jesus Christ said those that believe will be saved. Those that don't believe will be damned. Will be damned. Only Jesus saves. You believe that? You believe Jesus saves. Only Jesus saves. You can go to church and still burn in hell if you don't know Jesus Christ. You can pray to Mary. You can uh, even have an idol. How about destroy that idol and worship Jesus and Jesus alone? The Bible says destroy idols. Flee idolatry. The second commandment is do not bow down to graven images. Don't even make idols, people. The only one worthy is Jesus Christ. The only one highly exalted, the name above all names, is Jesus Christ. Even Maria said that Jesus was her Savior. 
We're all sinners at the foot of the cross. We all need salvation. Even Mary was at the foot of the cross and she was not a virgin. She had other children, people. Wake up, you've been lied to. There's one way to God. It's not through good works. It's not through Mary. It's not through confession. It is through confessing before a holy God. God! God! I have sinned against you, and only you have I offended. I have broken your law. I have lied. I have stolen. I have worshipped other gods. I have neglected the good things in life which are you. To worship you I live. To worship you I live. I live to worship only you, God. Is the God that you look to your shopping mall, your family, your church, are the things you're living for worth Christ dying for? What's the name of your God? God will have no other gods before Him. One day every knee will bow. One day every tongue will confess. Jesus Christ is Lord. Are you ready to meet God? Sir, you got a demon. Jesus can set you free. Jesus can set you free. I used to smoke pot. I used to smoke pot. I'm talking about the Most High God, sir. The Most High God. Jesus is the Most High. You don't need marijuana. You need the Most High God. I used to smoke cigarettes. I used to drink alcohol, snort cocaine. And Jesus Christ set me free. Those that the Son sets free are truly free indeed. Repent. Repent. He loves you, sir. He loves you, and He has a plan for your life. Nobody loves you more than Jesus. My Redeemer lives. My rede God's not dead. He's surely alive. Living on the inside, roaring like a lion. God's not dead. He's surely alive. Living on the see what Jesus Christ did? He reached into my heart, took out my old heart, and gave me a new heart. A new heart. A new heart. Everybody out here, listen up. Listen up. God wants to give you a new heart. Only Jesus can change your life. I'm talking about the power. The power. Wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. You got power in your church? Prove it. Prove it. Because there's a lot of people that are dead men walking and they call themselves the clergy. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Do you believe that? Do you know Jesus Christ tonight? Are your sins forgiven? If you die today, would you go to heaven or hell? Which is it? Because Jesus said those that believe will be saved. Those that don't believe will be damned. I'm telling the truth. There's no purgatory. There's no purgatory, people. If you believe in Jesus, saved. If you don't believe in Jesus, you will be damned. Where's the purgatory in Jesus' speech, huh? There is no purgatory and there is no Mary because the only one that can save is Jesus Christ. Whosoever calls upon the name of Jesus, 
shall be saved. Now I'm gonna do a pop quiz. I'm gonna do a pop quiz, sir. Okay, here we go. Whosoever. It's why you told not you. Whoso no, I'm not done with you. This is this is a pop quiz. You ready? Yes. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How do you get saved? Uh, I'm going to say it again. Okay, hang in there. Hang in there. This is very important. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Pop quiz. How do you get saved? Uh, uh, it's my <laughs> no. You get saved by calling on the name of the Jesus. You cannot get saved by simply going to church. You have to come to Jesus and receive his blood atonement. Jesus Christ, look at me, sir. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried. God raised him from the dead. Three days later, he was seen by over 500 people according to the scripture. If you want to go to heaven, sir, you have to tell God you're sorry and believe the gospel. You're not sorry, are you? Do you feel bad that you sinned against God? You feel good? Well, God, I pray he feels bad for his sin. Convict him of his sin. Because let me tell you something. I didn't feel bad about my sin for a long time. The Bible says sin is fun for a season. But I pray that God does a quick work in your heart and convicts you of your sin so you'll hate your sin and love the one that loves you. Nobody loves you more than Jesus. No, she's going to leave you one day. No, she'll leave you one day. The only one, no, the only one that loves you eternally, no matter what you do, in the good or the bad, is Jesus Christ. He loves you more than your mom and your dad. Yes, he does. Yes. Oh, how he loves us. Oh. He loves like a hurricane. I am the tree. Now, I usually forget the words about right there. So I'm going to sing something else. Are you washed in the blood? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Don't run. <laughs> run to Jesus, ma'am. I used to be a Motley Crue fan. And listening to Motley Crue made me brain damaged. Well, that's your problem. Well, I'm here to talk about the solution for the one that healed my mind. Jesus Christ came into my life and changed my mind, changed my heart. I was on the highway to hell. Like many of you, many of you are on the highway to hell. And God wants you to get on the road that leads to repentance. Only Jesus Christ can be that light and that salvation. Jesus is the light of the world. Pop quiz. Who is the light of the world? It depends for who. No, no. Jesus is the light of the world. Who is the light of the world? Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now, if you repent and follow him, you will go to heaven. Now, who wants to be the next person?